former Tour de France champion Geraint Thomas is to undertake three epic rides to raise money for the NHS during the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Professional cycling is on hold, with no competitions until at least the 1st of June, so Thomas is going to cycle at home in Cardiff for 36 hours over the course of three days, starting on the 15th of April. I thought I'd set myself the challenge of mirroring an NHS worker's shifts, so doing three 12-hour shifts, he told BBC Radio 5 Live. UCI put staff on enforced leave France considers tour with no spectators Thomas, 33, will take on the challenge in his garage on an indoor training bike, using a cycling training app to record his progress. Ineos and the team have been doing their hands-on project where they've been providing free hand sanitizer to the NHS in the UK, and all over Europe, and I wanted to do something myself. Riding a bike is kind of what I can do. 7.30 in the morning until 7.30 in the evening on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm a little nervous about it to be honest. Spending 12 hours on a bike three days in a row. The longest I've done before is 8 hours, 20 minutes maybe, that's obviously on the road. But to be sat in my garage just pedaling for 12 hours I think mentally it's going to be as much, if not more, challenging than the physical bit of it. Average speed on a flat day on the tour would be close to 50 km an hour on some days which are 3.5 to 4 hours long, if the wind is in the right direction. For me doing this challenge it's purely about getting round, I won't be in a rush, but power wise for those that know about power it'll be around 200 watts I guess, which is a nice leisurely pace. It's all about survival, as 36 hours in 3 days is a fair amount. But it's a decent challenge and hopefully we can raise a bit of money for the NHS and who as we all know are doing such an amazing job at the moment. We'd love the tour to happen with Team Ineos unable to race competitively or train together, Thomas has returned to Cardiff with wife Sarah and six-month-old son Max. Thomas won the 2018 Tour de France and finished runner-up last year behind Ineos teammate Egan Bernal. The 2020 Tour de France is scheduled for the 27th of June to the 19th of July, but other dates are being considered by organizers as Ofa Cycling's biggest event. The Giro d'Italia has already been pulled off this year because of the coronavirus pandemic, along with the monument one-day races Milan San Remo, Tour of Flanders and Paris Roubaix. I'm just praying and hoping it goes ahead at some point, that's the main thing for us, Thomas added. Obviously there's bigger things that need to be sorted out first, but as soon as it's safe and ready to go ahead we'd love it to happen. It's the pinnacle of the sport and what it's all about. Listen again to the full interview on the Guest List podcast. Let's block ads. Why?